Hello, how do you do? Welcome to another episode of AJ's Wrestling Review. You know what it is, you've seen the thumbnail. It is the Stooges, Pat Patterson, Gerald Briscoe. Man, both collector's edition figures. I really cannot believe that I have both of these in my hand and I'm ready to review them right now on YouTube. So surreal, I mean, you guys obviously know being collector's edition figures, these guys are highly sought after. But um, yeah, here I am, I have them. Very happy, very gracious. And uh, I'm going to share my joy with you now on YouTube as I take a look at these guys and get them up out of the box. Before I do though, let me just first apologize if I sound a bit nasally. Yes, I know, uh, I do have a bit of a cold flu at the moment, so therefore, um, yeah, this is why I sound like this. Um, basically where I live, there's been some really crazy weather at the moment, and um, you know, it is what it is. This is just life, right? But... As Freddie Mercury of Queen once said, the show must go on, so we got to do what we got to do and review these figures. So thank you very much for joining me, and uh, let's get stuck into it. Here we go. Here are the figures. Uh, get a little side-by-side -side action going there. So as you can see, Pat Patterson on the left, Gerald Briscoe on the right. Um, as you can probably tell, looking at the packaging, they both have... Uh, cloth attires so they've both got removable cloth t-shirts and cloth fabric pants and um, they supposedly have wrestling attires underneath these cloth attires which you see them in the box here so that should be pretty neat we'll get a look at that um, and then also they both come with like these riot uh, helmets there um, I don't remember the exact significance as to why they have those in particular I know I should probably have done the research um, prior to reviewing these figures, but I was just so excited that I could not contain myself, and now here I am reviewing them. So, as always, you know, we got to uh, get them up out of the box, and how do we do that? Of course, with the trusty Swiss Army knife. So, uh, so let's get stuck into them right now. Okay, so starting things off, we're taking a look at Gerald Briscoe. Uh, general first impression, as you can see, I've got him posed there with that little riot helmet on. Um, this helmet actually fits really like nice and snug, like directly onto him. Like you don't really have to force or anything, just kind of like slides right on, and you can feel it like sit nice and comfortably on the back of his head there. So that's pretty neat. Um, and as you can see, like the little um, shield bit there does move up and down so that's pretty neat too um, but we'll take that helmet off of him and I honestly think you know he'd be much better posed without it as well too because check out the detail there with the hair you've got like the gray coming in from the sides you've got the bald patch in the back um, it's a really really nice figure that I think accurately captures the man himself just almost perfectly so I really like it. Looks really good. Um, and then, as you can see, he's rocking the uh, Briscoe Brothers Body Shop Incorporated Auto Body, Auto Body Collision Repair shirt. Um, and of course, being a cloth shirt, you know, it has like the Velcro on the back. So let's just get rid of that and see what we're working with underneath. Um, I'm assuming it's not going to be much, but bam, there you go. We got some uh, some nice manly chest hair going on there and body hair to go with it. Um, now let's see what type of wrestling attire we are working with underneath. So let's just get all the accessories aside. So, no, he does not have knee pads on, uh, unfortunately, but nonetheless, this is him in his, like, old school wrestling attire. Just some nice bright, whoop, almost lost him, <laughs> some nice bright orange trunks um, and then you've got like the black boots with the white laces so yeah there we go that is Gerald Briscoe now on to Pat Patterson okay and here we go taking a look as it says on his shirt the very first IC champ ever in Rio de Janeiro which is where I'm guessing he won the title once again I'm really sorry I should really do my like fact checking before I review these figures, but, you know, I was just so excited, I just, I like I said, I just couldn't contain myself, I just had to just get them up out of the packaging, and show you guys here, so anyway, yeah, 
Um, Pat Patterson, you got him with the uh, with the riot helmet on yet again. Of course, you know how it works. So let's get this off. Take a look. Uh, he's kind of got like the nice like parted hair, which as you can see, there's like a bit of the grey coming in through it too. So I think that's a nice little touch there. I don't know how well my camera is doing this justice, but the detail on these hair for these guys, it's on point, man. I really like it. And there's a close up of the face there. With Mr. Pat Patterson, and um, I think they've done well, like with the wrinkles and everything. Um, but yeah, very, very nice figure. So, um, once again, let's get a look at what he looks like underneath. Does he have any chest hair of his own? I wonder. We shall see. Uh, yeah, he does. It's, uh, it's you know, not as much, obviously, um, given like his natural hair color. Or hair tone but um yeah he's got like the body hair there man i think they've been very generous with like this kind of like ab sculpt that he's got going on right about here but nonetheless hey it is what it is um so same like literally the exact same black uh tights or pants rather cloth the the black cloth pants that um that gerald briscoe is rocking now let's get these pants off yet again automatically you can tell there's a little bit different going on here this guy is rocking knee pads gerald briscoe is not pat patterson he is all black knee pads and black tights as well too as well as uh he's got the same black boots with the white laces however these are actually shorter um and let's let's bring you know gerald briscoe back in so you can see these guys side by side wrestling attire wise so yes the big difference is of course there's knee pads and of course you know different colored trunks obviously um and then you know the size of the boots pat patterson has like the longer boots with like the white socks sticking out gerald briscoe has the shorter boots so there you go there they are um not really much going on in the back but there's them in their wrestling attire so I think that's a pretty good detailed look at these two guys right here. I think it's time that we uh, put them back in their clothes and give you a final 1 to 10 review score right about now. Thank you very much for watching. Stick around. Okay, so here we are. We've reached that final point in the video where we have to give these guys a final review score. But just before we do that, um, you know, I've got the figures here, kind of decided to go like half and half. I've got them in the t-shirts with like, you know, the wrestling trunks on, um, holding the riot helmets. But, um, before we do that, yeah, let's actually speak on those, uh, those riot helmets. I should point out if I can just gently get this from Mr. Pat Patterson without him, you know, tipping over. There we go. Thank you, Pat. Um, these helmets, just basically to give you guys an idea, this is not plastic. Um, this is actually like a firm rubber, so that's why it fits nice and snug onto the figures. Um, and then of course you've got like this clear plastic is the, um, like what do you call this? Like the shield part of the, of the, of the riot helmet, helmet mask. I don't know what to call it, but anyway, yeah. So just something I wanted to point out. It's really cool that, um, that this helmet is actually like a firm rubber that's how it fits nice and snug on there. So I thought I might just point that out. Um, we'll pop that helmet just on the floor here. And then, of course, um, you know, like I said, interchangeable hands. You've seen one, you've seen them all. But just to point out, there are two different types of interchangeable hands, as you may have been able to see from the outside of the packaging. Nonetheless, I'll point it out here. Uh, so with Pat Patterson, he's kind of got these, like, open, like, um, how do you explain it? Like, you know, hands like this. Whereas uh, Gerald Briscoe, he's kind of got like, you know, the traditional like can hold a steel chair type hands like that. So, um, yeah, that's that's also another minor difference, which I just wanted to point out. Now, in terms of the figures, look, I could rate them individually. I mean, they are both from individual series, um, you know. Pat Patterson being from Elite 68, he's the the uh, the collector's edition figure, and then of course Gerald Briscoe from Elite uh, 70, uh, and he is the collector's edition figure for that series as well too. 
or I could just give them like a collective review score because after all I mean why would you just get one and not the other these guys go really well together um, you know these were both Mr. McMahon's right hand men when um, he was running the corporation stable back in the Attitude Era days so uh, yeah collectively as a review score I'm going to give both these guys a 9.1 Bit of an obscure number, I know, but nonetheless, I think these are really great figures. I'm very happy to have them. I think the fact that you've got, like, um, you know, the cloth attires that come with them, um, you know, full cloth pants for both, um, and then underneath, you know, you've got, like, the wrestling attires, and just how they're, like, slightly different but not quite exactly the same, you know, just even the contrast between, like, Pat Patterson with the white shirt, Gerald Briscoe with the black shirt, I just think it's nice. I think these figures are just really well done. And, I mean, another thing, too, the face scans just look great. Like, it's it's hard to fault them. I mean, um, you can probably kind of tell here this is, like, this weird manufacturing, like, scar thing on the side of Pat Patterson's face. But nonetheless, I mean, you know, you don't really see that at the slightest distance. But it's only when you kind of look at it up close. Like, there it is. But whatever, I mean, that's just got to be some kind of, like, manufacturing error. But, you know, that's just being picky. Really, they're two really nice figures. If you guys get the chance to get them, um, you know, I guess one or the other. I mean, but really, you got to have both. That's that's how you got to do it. You got to have both the figures. Um, yeah, please do. You won't be disappointed. Two great legends in the sport of professional wrestling. Um, like I said, I knew them from their days as... Uh, Mr. McMahon's right-hand men, the henchmen, the stooges, Pat Patterson, Gerald Briscoe, um, you know, when they were Mr. McMahon's lackeys, basically, in the corporation. Very cool figures. Thank you very much, Mattel. Really appreciate that, um, you know, we get something nice and unique like this. And, I mean, it's very doubtful that we'll ever see them, like, re-release these figures or maybe do them in a two-pack down the line. This kind of might be the only way to get them. So, if you can get them, get them. Uh, 9.1 out of 10. Nearly perfect, but hey, uh, I'm going to say they're very good. So, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, as always, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But most importantly, have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.